Hey guys, so I got a new service truck here, but for those of you that have been following me for many years, should recognize this truck. This truck, this was my truck when I was still in Alexandria with my dad. And my dad is going on 65 years old later this month. And he can't get in attics and stuff anymore. So a couple weeks ago, I had to go help him with a bunch of jobs. I had to change a couple coils, a couple compressors, just stuff he couldn't do. And he approached me and said, hey, we don't use this truck anymore. It just sits here. Do you want it? And I said, well, dad, right now I'm not, I already bought two trucks, you know, and I'm not really in a position to buy that truck from you. And he said, I don't want you to buy the truck from, from me. I want to give it to you for everything that, you know, you've done for me. I said, everything I've done for you, what about everything you've done for me already? He's like, don't worry about it. I don't want to give you the truck. I'd rather you have it than sell it to some guy that's going to tear it up. So I want to give a huge shout out to my dad right here on YouTube. Dad, if you're watching and my stepmother, Pam, thank you very much. I, 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 I'm very grateful. I don't know what else to say. So anyway, I took the old logo off. You can kind of still see some of the residual, but I did take it off and uh, it's got the, you know, utility bins. So uh, what I'm thinking is I'm going to make the driver's side all tools. What's cool about this service bed, not all of them have it this you know you can put capacitors right here that's where I put my capacitors contactors relays thermostats all that but I think I want to do the driver side in all tools and the passenger side in all parts and I'm looking for some feedback from you guys anybody that drives a truck like this I would love your feedback and uh I'm excited about the process of uh, do, getting having my truck back. There are some things I have to do to it because the guy that my dad had driving it, he was really rough on it. All the cab bushings underneath, the bushings that you know go in between the bolt and the cab, they're all screwed up. So when you hit a bump, you can really feel the cab move. Those are getting replaced this coming up week. It needs a set of shocks. Those are getting put on this coming up week. And they had to put a new computer on this truck. The computer went out. They put a computer and like a month later, all the lights on the dash came on. So we called Ford the other day and they said that the computer needs to be reflashed. That's what they call it, I guess a reboot. And it takes about an hour and a half to two hours to do that. So tomorrow morning, it's going to the Ford dealership to get reflashed. That'll be done. And then by the end of the week, by Friday, the uh, cab bushings and the shocks should be done. Oh, and I got to put new tires on it. The, these tires are bald. That'll be done by the end of the week. And then this thing will be ready to work. And then we are going to... I'm going to transfer all my stuff out of the Chevrolet into the Ford. So... This has been a great truck. I'm not selling it. I'm giving it to my technician. His truck that he's driving right now is a single cab GMC 1500, uh, but it's an eight foot bed. So this is gonna be much better for him. It's three quarter ton. It's got the topper on it. Uh, it's got the topper on it over here. He's gonna have a lot more room and I think he's gonna be real happy. Um, I'm not going to sell his truck, though. I'm going to keep it because it's paid. this truck is paid for. All three of these are. Uh, so the Ford behind, behind you guys now is paid for because it was given to me. The title has already been signed over to me. This truck's paid for, and his GMC is paid for. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to his GMC just in case I decide to hire a third guy, which... If I do, that'll be as big as I get, three trucks. But, or if we need it to go pick up equipment or pick, you know, to go pick up trash off of a job site, 
uh, we got it for that. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and hold on with that truck. So we're getting ready to start swapping trucks uh, here at John Israel Heating and Air Conditioning. And I'm looking for some uh, feedback from you guys. I'm gonna go back over here with the tripod, back to the Ford. So if you drive a truck like this, please give me some, you know, some pointers on how you laid yours out or make a video, that'd be even better. So anyway, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, I'll keep you guys updated on everything going on with the truck and as we, as I start moving from the Chevy to the Ford, we'll do some video on it. Thanks guys.